Mm. I can see here the interior of this van, the, the roof height is 1.9, so you've got a hey, little space. I'm 1.9. Let's see okay, how let's well see. I fit. Let's see if we get you in here. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Go. I don't think that. I could fit in many other vehicles this, this easily, which would be handy for trades and other people who need to do stuff Definitely. in their van. Definitely, yeah. So yeah. Um, what you can see here, everything comes with standard, so it's all lined on the side. You've got a nice flooring, hard wearing. Yep. You have a cargo barrier. This all comes from factory as standard, so it just gives you a little bit of that different edge. Uh, Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. Hi, everyone. We're here today at the Light Commercial Motor Show with John Givax from Jamil Motors, which is the exclusive distributor of the Verizon Supervan in Australia. Really cool, futuristic electric van that comes in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. I personally think that a Verizon Supervan is a far better commercial proposition than most utes out there in terms of practicality for actual load capacity and, and sort of flexibility of how you can fit out all that backspace and make it into whatever you want. Tell us more about it, John. So here we have the super van. This is the long wheelbase high roof version, the biggest version we have in country. This vehicle itself uh, has an 83 kilowatt hour battery, meaning that this vehicle is capable of 319 kilometers on a single charge. Um, our smallest vehicle is capable of 376 kilometers on a single charge. And the battery architecture is CATL LFP. Um, some exciting features about the van is in the rear here, we have three power points. Each of these power points are capable of delivering 3.3 kilowatts of power each. You can see here we have a laptop plugged in. You could imagine a lot of different use cases where you're charging your power tools, you're cooking some food, um, and lots of different other reasons that you might need to use power. Uh, this particular van is ideal for tradespeople, couriers, and even camper van enthusiasts. We have a lot of customers at the moment that are really keen to transact with us and build their own camper van. So we have customers at the moment that are actually building their own self-build. In addition to that, um, we actually have our own camper van we're building in the background. So we're about to launch that in a couple of weeks time. This particular van across all models has a payload weight monitoring. So it actually measures your payload in five kilo increments, which I'll show you in a moment. Mm -hmm. um, we'll pop around to the side here. because What we yeah. don't have is a B pillar on the side. So I want to show you that. So on the side here, if you can imagine the cargo barrier wasn't in place, which is yep. easily removed, you do not have a B-pillar. And what you'll see here is you have a seat belt on the door, which is in place of the B-pillar. So the B-pillar is actually part of the door structure, and when that's closed, that forms a B-pillar. Um, but yeah, I'd love to show you inside the cabin as well. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll slowly move in. Yep. I'll show you how the payload weight monitoring system works. So I'll just yep. walk around the other side and get in a second. So what we can see here, we have a total uh, weight of 2590 at the moment. So I'm just going to climb in and it's going to weigh me. And I might not want to see this, but we'll see what I weigh. So it's jumped up to 2670. So we wow. went up by 80 kilograms, That's which pretty is impressive. close to my weight. So we're relatively happy with that. So you're measuring everything across the suspension, yeah. and determining what the weight is. Um, additionally, we've got a really safe 360 degree camera. The view is slightly obscured at the moment because we do have doors open, but you do have different scenes that you can select. You can select particular angles. You can go for a, a sort of 3D version as well, and you can go oh, all the way around. This is uh, very similar to the Geely EX5, and there's a good reason for that because Verizon is actually a Geely brand. So, yeah. Um, additionally to this, so... We also have features like um, heated and ventilated seats. Yep. So we can choose for passenger heating, driver ventilation, vice versa, or we can have them linked together to match. We've got over 30 active safety features, so all of your um, ADAS warning stuff. Um, obviously mentioned the 360 degree camera. This version here is a two seat version. These are the launch versions that we originally launched. We also have a three seat version as well. Yeah, that'd be so the one right across, across the corridor yeah. over there. So yeah, it's, uh, we've got some overhead storage here as well. And yeah, we're just really, we've got a really robust product that drives like an SUV, that feels like an SUV, but it's actually a van. Yeah, and you can actually see through to what's in the boot if you need to. Exactly. How about it? So you you planning on going on any holidays in a super van anytime soon, John? I would love to take the camper van that we're building out in a couple of weeks' time and take it on a journey around the coast. 
and just test it out to its abilities, you know, with a load and on an adventure plugging in along the way. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So I think, what did you say the range was? Yep, so what we have is the small van is capable of 376 kilometers. The long wheelbase Lorif van is capable of 355 kilometers. And the largest one, which we sat in here, the long wheelbase high roof, is 319 kilometers, and that's WLTP standards. Okay, so because it's WLTP standards, as a rough rule of thumb, it's probably about 20% less if it's highway speed 110 kilometers, but it's probably about 20% more if it's just being driven in urban areas in your standard really slows traffic, you know, 40 kilometers an hour. So you could probably push 500 Ks in a day, which is much more than most people need, actually. What about charging rates? Yeah, so I was about to mention the charging rates. So this vehicle charges at 140 kilowatt DC, Ooh, wow. which is higher than a lot of passenger cars out in the market. Ooh. In addition to that, we have 11 kilowatt AC as well. So um, from an AC perspective, you can charge up in about seven hours from zero to 100. Um, from 30 to 80 percent on DC, 140 kilowatt is about 26 minutes. So. Yeah, you have that ability to plug in, quickly charge, and on your way again. So grab some lunch, grab a charge, move on. Most of the people are comfortable with the range that they can cover that in one shift without a charge and do all the charging at home or workplace, um, preferably with solar and have it for next to free. Yeah, and as John mentioned previously, in the back there were three 240 volt sockets. Three, yeah. yeah. And they're all capable of 3.3 kilowatts each. Yeah, 3.3 kilowatts each. So you can charge up all your power tools or you could have a mini fridge in there. Air fryer. Could, yeah. Oh, all yeah. kinds of stuff. There's no limits. Uh, additionally, we have four different colors of this van. So we've got white, we've got blue, which are sat in here. We have gray and we have green. We have stock in the country as well. So we're actually in a good spot where we're already working with customers across Australia. So our customers are EV charging experts, um, couriers, experts in EV themselves. We have customers that are actually all-round experts that actually have some bigger plans for the vans. It's a multi-purpose van. We've got doors companies. We've got a broad range of clients. We've got a cafe company uh, in, in Sydney that do coffee, a well-known brand. So, yeah, we've, we've got a really, really great bunch of clients at the moment. And um, we're looking forward to growing that as we work with large fleet operators and different operators across Australia. Yeah. I could totally see me getting an Amazon Prime delivery, something of a Verizon Supervan, especially with the height and the width. What do you think? Definitely. So zero emission delivery is not a new thing. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot more happening than you realize. A lot of these are unbranded and not necessarily recognized in the wider market, but there's a lot of companies that have, have been pioneering zero electric uh, deliveries. Additionally, we obviously we're looking at the van today, but we also have trucks as well. So we have 4.5 tonne. Uh, trucks that can be driven on car licenses, and we have eight-ton trucks which require special truck license. So we have different products for different different customer needs, and uh, we're we're ready to showcase these and and sell them out to the market. Okay, well, thanks for your time, John. Um, happy uh, happy supervening. Yeah, thank you. No thanks. worries. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you, and have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.